Alrighty, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of KJF Fishing. As you guys can tell, we are in a store. I got mom with me today and we are doing an MTB slam. Mom's mystery tackle box slam. Um, I didn't want to spend the shipping to uh, get a mystery tackle box shipped up to Canada, so we are uh, advancing this challenge to a mom's mystery tackle box slam. So, mom's gonna pick out three or four lures and then I'm gonna go out on the ice and try to catch a fish on all all four of those lures. So, yeah, let's get, let's get picking some lures. Okay guys, we're starting at this end with mom. We're gonna die. This challenge is done. <laughs> like some of the stuff she's been pointing out already, like we are toast, guys. Toast. Not gonna be able to catch fish on any of them. Hey mom, what do you got? I am looking at a Northland Buckshot Spoon Flutter. It rattles them up, it says. Rattles them up. Cool, so is that your first choice? I'm going to get one of these, I don't know what color. Okay, let's find a color. I like white for the place you're gonna go fishing, but I, don't want to make it too easy. I'm See gonna this. go, it's kind of a fire tiger. I like the little built-in rattle. I think that's the one. Cool, that is the one. That is choice number one. We're still gonna get either uh, two or three more options, so. It's actually kind of Jamaica man <laughs> Jamaica man. <laughs> a ton of stuff to go through. Okay, what did you find now? Okay, look at this one. I like the name, a magic bean. This is uh, by Lunker Hunt, and it's got a little bit of a spinner on the back there. It's a smaller size treble, but it's about the same size as this one. I wonder if that one glows. That it does, like it. it's a glow. So I think we'll try this one as well, just for fun, because the name's fun. I actually haven't seen this before, Sabiel Ubrato. That looks interesting. Another kind of like a blade style bait. Yeah. It's huh. got a lot of iridescence in it. Wow. <laughs> Looks pretty wild. This might be the wild card. It might be the wild card. <laughs> Here are some tungsten jigs. We got some some pretty cool colors. I'm thinking eighth of an ounce teardrop pink. And it's a glow one. I lunker hunt. Cool. So that is the final choice, no more, I don't know how many fish I can catch, <laughs> but that is the final choice you for can this. Do it. You can do it. You can do it, man. <laughs> okay, so those two are pretty similar. What do you think? I like this variety. Do you want to switch out one of those? I do. You have an option to switch out one. We're going to go with just a. Sh I think we're going to go with a pickerel rig. Just a pickerel just rig, Just to eh? make it challenging. Okay, let's go find a pickerel rig. <laughs> Pickerel rigs. Now we're just trying to figure out what size of hook so we I want. I think I'm gonna go with the size one. And I might as well do the four piece even though you're only gonna use one of them. In case one of them breaks or something like that. Right, back up. Back okay. up. So this is, uh, I guess they only have the Red Wolf brand. Red Wolf brand, size one hooks, four pieces. And that is gonna be the final choice. We're substituting the pickerel rig for that uh, Lindy Flyer. Okay, so here are five options. What do you got, Mom? Uh, first choice was from Northland Fishing Tackle, a buckshot flutter spoon. And it says it rattles them up. Let's see what this one produces. I think the next one that caught my eye was by Lunker Hunt. It's called a Magic Bean, and I kind of just like the name. I thought it was neat. It's got a little spinner back here and a little treble on it, and it glows. The next one that caught our eye was this one, and only because we've never used this brand. Never even heard of the brand. It's a seven gram sinking shiner. The thing I liked about this one was, you hook on in the middle, it's got a treble at the nose and a treble at the back that dangles. So we'll see what Caden does with that one. And we did some switching and we ended up on another Lunker Hunt, but it's a eighth of an ounce tungsten micro teardrop. It glows too. The last thing we have here on the Saskatchewan Rough Rider cushion is our pickle rig. And we went with a one size hook, general Red Wolf pickle rig. Nice and simple, eh? Nice and simple. Cool. My job here is done. <laughs> Now guys, it is my job to catch a fish on all these lures. We are going to try to catch fish on all five of these lures. And yeah, so let's get it. Send me some good luck and I'll see you guys on the lake.
Alrighty guys, we just got on the ice and we do have a buddy with us today. We got Brock LeMay with us. Where are you, Brock? Right here. Right, right there. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing that uh, MTB slam, the mom's tackle box slam. Uh, she picked out five lures that you saw in the last couple clips. And now Brock and I are out here and gonna try to catch fish on it. Part of the rules really quick. We are gonna download this spin app where it chooses the lures that we start with. And we are not allowed to move on to the next lure until we catch a fish on the lure that the spinner picks. And first five fish wins the challenge. I don't know exactly what is in store for the loser, but we'll figure that out. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys, uh, I don't know, maybe on the next fish, maybe when we get set up, something like that. So see you guys later. Also, disclaimer, we are allowed to tip any of these with minnows, a plastic, any anything like that. Minnows are allowed, plastics are allowed. So let's spin. Okay, so I am going to start off with a spoon presentation. I think I'm going to start off with this uh, Sibyl uh, spoon. It, I've never used it before, but it looks pretty interesting. It has a hook on the front and a hook on the back. And I think Caden chose a spoon, so I'm going to go with the tungsten. This little pink longer hunt tungsten. Hopefully I'll catch some fish. Yeah. Hopefully Caden will bring them in and I'll just smoke them. <laughs> He's charging. He's gonna come. I don't know if you're too high. Oh. Yes! Guys, first bait of the day. We are hooked up. Yes! <laughs> One down! That is on that Sibyl spoon. He came up. No bait. Wasn't using any bait for this one. And just a beautiful golden walleye right there. That bait in his mouth, hooked right in the top of the mouth. One of the trebles, and yeah, first bait down. Now I gotta choose what I'm gonna go with now. Wow, this guy hooked really good. I might need some forceps. Alrighty, one last look at this beautiful golden walleye. This guy's probably about 16 inches, I would say, 15, 16 inches, and we're gonna we're gonna get him for the release. Let's try to go for a nice release, buddy. Don't flip, don't flip. Hoo hoo, that was nice. That was silky, eh? Cool. First one down. I think for the next bait, I'm just gonna go uh, fire tiger box shot spoon. He's flying. There we go. Stay pinned, buddy. Stay pinned. Second one of the day. <laughs> second hook, second fish. He ate that little buckshot spoon. Hey, Brock, how's that tungsten jig going? It's terrible. <laughs> He's having some trouble on that tungsten jig. They won't even look at it. No, they won't even look at it. And they're just coming in and slamming the spoons. So now I have to switch up to either the magic bean. Wow, buddy, calm down, there you go. I gotta switch up to the magic bean or the pickerel rig. So I think I'm gonna go with the magic bean, but that is a little sauger. Those little dots on the fin indicate that. And yeah, we're gonna get them back so we can get fishing. Alrighty guys, here it is, the magic, the magic bean. It has a little like, Underspin on it, little spinner, and I'm guessing it's gonna have a, just a horrible hookup ratio. So let's let's see how this does. I just got a quick snap on here so I can be speedy with my changes. And yeah, we're gonna try to smack one. I swear, he's coming up here. I just had him. I just had him, Brock. Oh. <laughs> Just, oh. Dude, I can't. Dude, there's a nice little tungsten sitting over here, buddy. Buddy. See the tungsten. It's coming down for my see hook again. Nah, don't, don't see the tungsten. Yes! Good. No way! Good. Oh, you got it? I got oh. him. <laughs> That's tiny. Guys, look at this. 
I thought this magic bean would have a horrible hookup ratio, and I hooked him like on the first try. Look at how far gone he ate that. It is gone. I'm gonna need some forceps or something, or yeah, I'll definitely need some forceps. I think maybe I can pop it out. Oh, I did pop it out. Cool. That is a tiny, tiny little sauger. That guy's probably like eight inches. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, that's super small, but hey, it counts for the challenge. And that is the magic bean that I got done. Hey, Brock, what are you on? Super tungsten. They won't even look at it. They won't even look at the tungsten. Brock is having a tough, tough time over there. Brock says he just got a steal. No way. <laughs> No way! He just got a steal on my rod. I was out. There we go, boys. He said, "Was Brock? You marking a fish?" I said, "Nope." Wow, you dirty hey, dog. Mark. That's a nice wall, huh? Saw guy. Yeah, nice saw guy there. Though. Brock is in the game. Frog is in the game with my rod. That's Dude, hilarious. I could have had one more rod going, except <laughs> I was setting a tip up. Ah! Oh. That's funny. Wow. He definitely bit. He think it's... Guys, I got him. That's a bit. That's it. That's a decent one. On the pickerel rig, guys. The walleye. Oh, no. It's, it's a good walleye, Brock. I don't think it is. It's a better one. A no way. Yeah. Is it? Look. Oh, a little stinker. Hey, he counts. If I get him up. Yeah, he's up. Okay, a pike in uh, in the walleye spot. You know what? I'll take him. And make a mess, dude. Make a mess of that pickerel rig. Because I'm done with it. Pickerel rig is out. Hey, Brock. Give me that tungsten, boy. Okay, I'm going to unhook this guy. He's just being a little butt. This little pike. Thought he was maybe a walleye, and it was just a greasy old pike. Uh, whatever. I guess it's a challenge. Multi-species challenge. I'll take it. This guy's gonna go nuts. Yep, yep, he just went nuts. Okay, just go in the hole. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Yep, goodbye, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, pickerel rig is done. Sweet. So, Brock, give me that tungsten, boy. Where's the tungsten at? Nice. I'm gonna be putting that on there because Hayden's taking away my tungsten, but I'm okay with it because it sucks. <laughs> yeah, tungsten, I'm not looking forward to it, guys. Brock has not caught one on tungsten all day, and now I have to go to the tungsten. So, we'll see how this goes. Where's it at? Oh, it's on, it's on the bait board. Cool. So, let's put on that pink Lunkeron tungsten and see if we can get her done. Alrighty, so guys, I'm on my last hook. I have knocked out the Magic Bean. The Sibyl spoon, the buckshot spoon, and the pickerel rig. So I'm on the tungsten, one hook left. We started the challenge at what time? 10, 10.30? Yeah. 10, 10, 10, 10, 30 about. And it is currently 12.58. Oh, we haven't even been fishing for like too, too long. And my camera's not focused. One hook left. Brock, what have you got done? Well, I got one down. I stole a, a little tiny sauger. Off of Caden's pickle rig, that's about it. Uh, he took away my uh, tungsten jig, now I'm on the buckshot spoon. So I'm looking for a big comeback. Tungsten, tungsten, tungsten. Just tying this tungsten jig on with a improved clinch knot, guys. It's one of my favorite knots of all time. You wrap the line around itself about six to eight times, and then you go th back through this little hole you know if I could actually see what I was doing and then you go back through the hole that you just made and then you wet net and then you pull and make sure that it's all nice and snug and there you have a knot that should not break final product put a little plastic as a trailer on the back of that pink jig and we are gonna, gonna get it done. I can finish up the challenge here, boys. Yes! Stay on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. 
Stay on, baby. Feels not bad. He is snagged. He, he's snagged, but you know what? I'm taking it. That is the challenge, guys. Right there. Challenge is over. He did swipe at it and snagged him in the side. Nice little walleye. Finish as finishes up the challenge. There it is. Brock, you confirmed the W for KJF yeah, fishing. Caden wins the challenge. And there he goes. Oh wow, he's going nuts in that hole. <laughs> cool, so good challenge, Brock. Uh, Alrighty guys, that is a wrap for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was the first kind of ever challenge. I want to say thank you to my mom for picking out five super hard, awesome, amazing, uh, fun lures for this challenge. I want to thank Brock, my buddy, for uh, kind of coming up with how to do the challenge idea. And yeah, it was a ton of fun. Comment if you want more videos like this one. Um, I did beat Brock five lures to one. He stole my one too, so he got lucky there. Uh, we might be doing more of these in the future, but Brock LeMay, do you have any words? Um, I got destroyed, but it's okay, I'll bounce back. In the next video, I'm gonna catch all the fish. Heck yeah. One's gonna be a 10 pounder. Good game, good game. Good game. Good game. I'll see you guys on the next fish, on the next video. Stay tuned, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.